Hello everyone. Uh, this is a rather advanced recording showing the new voice meter banana, voice meter pro. And uh, we are going to set up to bring in a Skype call to an HOA and back so that the people in the HOA can be talking to the people in the Skype call and the people in the Skype call can be talking to the HOA folks. And uh, but, but neither hears their own broadcast echoed back at them. So the HOA people don't hear their own uh, talking coming back into the broadcast to them. Neither does the Skype person hear their voice coming back to them. Okay, through the uh, through the system. So this is the setup. This is where I've set it up. Let's show you really quick how to uh, how to do the setup. I'm not going to show you how to install Voice Meter and all. There's a video. Uh, that just shows how to get an HOA into Skype that shows the whole installation process uh, that I'll leave in the description. Watch that for the installation. I'm just going to go right to the setup. Okay, so we have voice meter here. We've set it up as the uh, default um, recording and playback device. Okay, in our system settings here, playback devices and recording devices. So, uh, this has the voice meter as the input device default and and communications device and as the voice meter output also default communications device. Okay, you notice there's also in banana there's a voice meter aux output and you can see the meters of both are working. Okay, so you also see these meters echo down here on the right. So this is the two outputs that the new voice meter now has rather than just a broadcast one and now it's a broadcast one and two and it has three monitors so but we're not we're only going to need one uh, monitor um, okay so let's let's cover this how we're going to do this let's go first to our hangout and we'll hit the gear and we'll set as we did in the other video we're going to set it so that uh, voice meter output is going to the uh, for, for the uh, microphone that we want to hear what's coming out of voice meter regular output okay for the speakers we just as in that other video we're going to use the cable the virtual cable and that's how we're going to get our signal input so now if you look at this you'll see that here's my signal coming in here and uh, but this signal let's uh, I'll play test sound and quickly show this and there you see right there that that level came up because we're coming in through the cable A out input. Again, as I mentioned in the other, because the uh, rates, the, the sample rates and stuff seem to change in a hangout on air based on your line conditions uh, of the and the internet conditions, always pick MME for your microphone and for your, uh, for your cable input, okay, the virtual cable. All right, so now this is the uh, Hangout on Air coming in. We're going to have the Skype set up. Let's go to Call and Audio Settings. And we'll set that so that the microphone is getting from the uh, voice meter aux out. Uh, that's the, the B, this one over here. And so you see now it's getting its signal. And we're going to get the uh, going to get the send it to right to the aux. There we go. The as a speaker, we're going to send it to the auxiliary input. So now, if you see when I hit the ringer, you see this right hand slider over here. You see that's the right hand. And I don't know a lot of people just answered their phone, right? But there you have it coming in. And you'll notice when I play it, though, it's not going to go out here. Watch. See that? See, my microphone's going out of both. But Skype is not going back out to itself. That's the main thing I want you to notice. So got that? Voice meter aux output is, how we're, is where the microphone's coming from. And voice meter aux input is where the uh, signal's coming in in this case the way we're doing this okay so now let's go to the routing settings and uh, I can close Skype down here 
And uh, what we're going to do is with the microphone, we're sending it to both broadcast outs. Okay, so it's going out to the Hangout through this slider, and it's going out to Skype on the B2 through the B2 slider. You see the little A, B1, B2 over here. Okay, and we're in normal mode all this time. We're doing nothing fancy. This is the most basic uh, use of this is for routing purposes. So we can adjust the volumes of the outputs here. And uh, so if someone's saying they can't hear it on one, but they're fine on the other, you can, you know, increase the output on one. Okay, now we are going to audit the Hangout on Air through here because the Hangout on Air is coming through here. So we want to send that to my A1, which is my Logitech. And again, it's MME. And I should have mentioned, don't forget, you always pick your output, your A1 output first before you even do anything. So make sure MME, which we have to do because of the fact that the line quality is changing the uh, bit rate, it seems, and making for clicks and pops and sometimes downright total distortions as the uh, system seems to lose control, uh, lose a handle or well, lose a sync with the with the audio signal. It can't, doesn't know where the heck the beginning of it is and it starts sounding terrible. All right, so we've got this being audited, but notice that this output here is also going to the B2. This is the Hangout being sent out to the Skype caller. Okay, so again, let's go ahead and I'll play the test sound. And you saw it, it rang in the B2. So they can hear the Hangout folks and what they're doing. Okay, similarly, I've got my system sounds all coming in here. Oh, in fact, I can turn on the B2 even. I got my system sounds all coming in here so I can audit them and I can send them out to both if I want, to both the Hangout and to the Skype caller. I may only want system sounds to go out to one. Okay, I may only want my musical bed to be audible by the people in my Hangout, for instance, in which case I'd turn off the B2. If I want everybody to hear the same background sounds and background special effects or the video if we're watching a video together to uh, be able to see the video um, which is another ball of wax trying to get the Skype person to see the video I don't know how well screen share and a hangout on air would all work together <laughs> it's pretty bold there I'm going to have to have an i7 I think for that one and a lot of RAM but nonetheless you can send the system out to these three outs and uh, and Everybody will be able to hear the system sounds, hear video sounds, hear any browser audio that you have, etc., etc. In Voice Meter Aux is coming the Skype call. So, of course, I want to audit it because I want to be able to hear what they're saying. But here, the B1 means that I'm sending this person, this, this caller, the audio also out to the Hangout, which is on the B1 output. Okay? So, th that's the setup. Just kind of freeze the screen and. Uh, copy all of that and you'll have it all set up where you can actually do this thing with a Skype call as part of a Hangout on Air. Okay, so again, check the description for the link to the other video if you need help with the installation of this. Now this right now is only available as I'm making this. It is not an official release yet, um, but it will be soon. It is, however, uh, released on the Facebook page of Voice the VB Audio. So I will include the link to the post so that you can uh, download the new Voice Meter Pro banana. And again, this is donationware, so if you find it really, really useful, please make a donation, okay? Make a donation. Um, this, if Voice Meter regular is 10 to 25 dollars uh, euros which is 13 to say th around near 30 dollars i would say this is probably worth a little bit more if you're really getting use out of it and uh, this is a killer dealer thing plus you won't believe the videos i'm going to be making in the future showing the rest of the nuances and cool things that this program has this is a monster uh, so, but I got you, I got you with your Skype people talking to your Hangout on Air people now, and it's all getting recorded as part of this Hangout on Air, maybe, you know, I don't know, I don't know if you can get the video part recorded in the Hangout on Air, but you certainly can get the, uh, 
you can be having a recording going at the same time, recording with uh, OBS in the background or something. Who knows? I don't know. I'm really not so concerned about the recording part as getting the audio where everybody can hear each other. And uh, we'll figure out the video of getting a Skype caller. And you can you know you can do that with a screen share. Um, or you get uh, one of, maybe the host of the thing can uh, include the Skype thing as a screen share, so everybody can see it. And it, that way, it would be included as part of the recording. But nonetheless, there you have it. And uh, please make comments and ask questions. I always respond to the questions that come up in the comments like pretty much the same day. And, uh, and any suggestions for the things that I can uh, put in the comment stream or in the description box. Always check that description box though to see if I've written a new article or anything related to this. Okay, so that's it. Take care and I hope this is easy enough to follow that you can get it done. If not, again, ask me a question and we'll get it answered. Okay, take care.